All right, good morning. Uh, we are here at uh, RDO John Deere and Equipment and uh, basically Waco. Um, there's heavy storms from uh, where I stayed there in Mount Vernon all the way down to pretty much here. Um, but I just got unloaded as fast as I possibly could. Just I wanted to make sure I was unloaded before the rain came this way. And uh, we're gonna head to uh, Port of Galveston and that's gonna bring us up to uh, Colorado Springs, Colorado, so. Uh, just waiting for a load to actually uh, get sent over here, but just want to give you an update on it. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, y'all. Um, we are finally loaded here in uh, the Port of Galveston. Um, we're on the harbor side, whatever road this is. Uh, getting back to the 45. Um, I ended up staying at the Waller Loves, hoping that, you know, I'd get my uh, bill of lading so I could use points or, you know, pay two bucks a copy, but that never showed up yesterday, and then uh, when I, I left there at four o'clock in the morning, I got here at, actually I blew through Houston, which blew my mind away, but I got here around 6.30, somewhere around there. And then um, I, uh, I waited, 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 waited for, uh, for one, the port doesn't open until eight. And then I still didn't have it. And then I had to wait for the train that had all the windmill towers on it, on their cars going back and forth through the road. This is about 29,000 pounds. 
So one chain, two binders. One chain, two binders. Articulation lock. And then uh, one chain, two binders in the front as well. So. All right, good morning, y'all. Uh, we ended up stopping at Rome, Texas there at, uh, I think it was a pilot or flying J, whatever, same thing. Um, last night, um, I was exhausted and uh, I don't honestly remember anything other than parking and then I fall asleep. So, um, <clears throat> we are in the northern side of Texas now, almost to, I think you could that was some Texas State Road, I can't remember. Uh, but this brings me to the 385, and then back to the 87. So, these are the roads I like to travel on better, or, you know, more so than highways. Um, but this uh, allows me to escape Dalhar and uh, Dumas. Texas and uh, that area, I think. So, this will cut us up back to 87. And then, um, where is it? Go up to, is it, 64. And then that brings us to the 25 uh, when we're still in uh, New Mexico. So, up to Colorado Springs. Um, I'm debating if I want to unload this today or not. Um, I started my day at like 4 in the morning. I got 5 hours to drive and 315 miles to go. Um, and I know that area gets super um, congested around that time because everybody needed work. So I don't want to unload and then not be able to uh, find a place to park. So I'm debating if I just want to park for the night and then get up that way in the morning. So uh, I'll probably email my dispatcher or call him here in a little bit and see if he has a game plan. stopped at this uh, rest area which used to be a way station here on the 64 north almost to a Rattan. Uh, just doing a low check here real quick everything looks good so we're gonna keep on rolling here and I'll uh, get you guys here in a bit all right good morning y'all we are uh, 
waiting for this traffic jam to die down and then we're gonna get on our way. Um, we'll get there right, about right when they open. And uh, I might have a load going back to Pennsylvania. I gotta double check once I get unloaded. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Um, there's a couple guys backing in the spots, so this water is kinda backed up at the moment, but we'll get going here in a second. guys in a bit all right y'all we are unloaded we're gonna head up to the commerce city and uh, we're gonna do what we like to call a four river shuffle um, we're gonna take a backhoe from uh, four rivers in commerce city to uh, Hobbs New Mexico it is what it is it keeps us moving um, Four Rivers is one of our uh, main customers, so just waiting for my paperwork to get back to me and then I'll be on my way. <laughs> 